Hi, welcome to another video from PAC. Today, we'll talk about the comet that's all over the news. The comet Neowise. The comet is actually called C2020 F3 Neowise or Neowise for short because it was discovered by the Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer which is basically a space telescope from NASA. Comet is a rock that is believed to have originated from the Oats cloud which is actually at the boundary of the solar system. Because they are so far away from the sun, they are usually icy rocks and some of these rocks have an orbit that brings them closer to the solar system and they approach the sun and then proceed in their orbits. When this happens, if Earth is on their path, we get to see these comets in a beautiful view. Comet Neowise was discovered on March 27 this year and it came closest to the sun on 3rd of July this year. As it goes back, it will approach the Earth at a distance of 103 million kilometers on 23rd July. When you look at the comet, what you see is basically an icy rock that has its icy surface being melted by the sun which forms the icy tail. You can find various images of the comet online but the joy of spotting one is not equal to looking at the photos. So let's look at how to spot the comet in our local skies. What you see here right now is Stellarium set to Udupi or Mangalore region. You see the time at the lower right which is basically 19th of July 7 p.m. and I'll move forward in time to make the stars visible and you'll see the stars will be visible around 7.15 in the evening. The star Swati or Akras will be visible at the zenith and once that happens you will begin looking at the north. Once you look at the north, you'll spot northwest, which is basically 315 degrees on a compass. And you'll look towards the north region for some stars to be visible. As the time approaches 7.30, you will see seven bright stars visible towards the north. This is what we call the Big Dipper. So once you've spotted these seven stars, around 19. 21st of July what you'll do is you'll take these three stars one two three and then extend them to meet four and extend that same line and you'll find the comet in this region once you've located it the comet will look like a white spot but as the night gets darker you will see the icy tail appears the comet will be up in the night sky from around 7.30 to 8.30 depending on the visibility of the horizon. The best time to catch the comet would be around 7.45 each night for the remainder of this month. So how will this comet look as days pass by? So let me set the time to 7.15 again on 20th of July. You will see the comet is located a little higher. Uh, let me make the stars visible. Yes. So on 20th of July, you'll see the comet in the same three stars line extension and in this region you should be able to find the comet. And if you move on to 21st of July, the comet will be higher. So let me just mark it. Yes. So as days go by, the comet will be higher. You should be able to spot it by starting with these three points, 1, 2 and 3. Extend it to the fourth point in Big Dipper. And then look straight and then spot it. On 19th, it should appear over here. 20th, 21st, 22nd and 23rd. So each day, the comet will go rise higher and higher. On 22nd and 23rd, the comet should be horizontally in the same line as this star which is called the Mirac in the Big Dipper. You'll also notice this Big Dipper is also called the Saptarishian Indian. And as you approach 24th, the comet will rise higher. 25th comet is again higher in the sky 26th you will see the comet will have reached equivalent to the star vector in Big Dipper and up to 31st of July you should be able to see the comet but as you will notice each night let me go back to 19th July the comet at its lowest is actually the brightest at magnitude around 3 and with each passing day you will see the comet gets dimmer and dimmer so the earlier you spot the comet, the more chances of visibility. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, 
the location of this simulation is actually set to Bangalore or even Udupi so it will appear the same but what about rest of India so around 7.30 each night let's say on 21st of July you can see the comet is located in this region at an altitude of about 20 degrees from the horizon uh, let me just change the location here so setting the location to Delhi you will be able to locate the comet at an altitude of about 28 degrees but you will have to wait a little longer for the skies to be clear as you can see around Delhi the star or the comet will be visible around 750 you are lucky if you are in the eastern region of India as the sky gets darker earlier there so uh, let's set the location to Kolkata you'll see in Kolkata the stars will be very visible very early uh, so going back in time we can see the stars are visible around 7 yes so around 6.45 7 o'clock in Kolkata or eastern parts of India the stars should be visible and should be able to locate the stars in the same way if you live outside India in let's say Europe you can locate the comet using the same methods but the orientation of the Big Dipper would vary a little so you can see the Big Dipper located over here and uh, the, star, the comet would actually appear higher in altitude so using this guide we hope you can find and locate the comet nearwise and enjoy the beautiful view of the comet if you capture the photo don't forget to send it to us at one of our social media pages thank you